हेलो एवरी वन आशुतोष हाउ डू यू डू गाइज आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आज हम इस वीडियो में बात करने वाले हैं अबाउट द कार्टिलेजनियस ज्वाइंट अर्लियर वी हैव सीन द फाइब्रस ज्वाइंट क्लासिफिकेशन जो कि हमने इस दूसरे वीडियो में दिखाया बट आज इस वीडियो में हम बात करने वाले हैं कार्टिलेजनियस ज्वाइंट इन प्रीवियस वीडियोज हमने देखा है कि फाइब्रस ज्वाइंट क्या होता है उसका पूरा क्लासीफिकेशन सो दिस फाइब्रस ज्वाइंट इज कम्प्लीटेड Now we will move on to the next joint that is cartilaginous joint. अगर आपने फाइब्रस ज्वाइंट वाला वीडियो अभी तक नहीं देखा है तो इस वीडियो के बाद में आप आई बटन में जाके उसे चेक कर सकते हैं सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन दिस चैनल देन प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द नोटिफिकेशन बेल एज वेल एज टू गेट द लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स फर्स्ट वीडियो को लास्ट तक जरूर देखना नहीं तो कॉन्सेप्ट विल रिमेन अनकलियर सो लेट्स बिगिन सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द डिस्कशन ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ कार्टिलेजनियस ज्वाइंट कार्टिलेजनियस ज्वाइंट इज बिंग डिवाइडेड इंटू टू टाइप्स प्राइमरी एंड द सेकेंडरी कार्टिलेजनियस ज्वाइंट द प्राइमरी कार्टिलेजनियस ज्वाइंट सो वी विल सी बेसिकली वॉट द डिफरेंसेज आर दैट बिटवीन दीज टू प्राइमरी एंड द सेकेंडरी कार्टिलेजनियस ज्वाइंट सो द प्राइमरी कार्टिलेजनियस ज्वाइंट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज सिन कॉन्ट्रोसिस सो कॉन्ट्रोस फॉर दर्ड कार्टिलेज एंड The secondary cartilaginous joint is also called, or also known as symphysis. So all the symphysis joint are actually located in the center of the uh, body. So that is why we have uh, seen the term pubic symphysis. So it comes in the middle of the body or center of the body. So we have seen that uh, the primary and the secondary, also known as terms, that is to say the synchondrosis and the symphysis. now let's move to the next topic that is primary cartilaginous joint is when two bones are connected by hyaline cartilage so in this primary cartilaginous joint the two bones these i have shown the two bones and these two bones are connected with the hyaline cartilage in between so if it if there is hyaline cartilage between the two bones then we can say it is primary cartilaginous joint and here in the secondary cartilaginous joint if you see the two hyaline cartilage are in turn connected with fibrocartilage means the bone the bones are there the hyaline cartilage is also there but but in between the two hyaline cartilages we can see the fibrocartilage in between that differentiates the secondary cartilaginous joint with the primary one okay so the primary is having only the hyaline cartilage between the bones and the secondary is having one more thing that is fibrocartilage next we will see here that uh, with increasing age the hyaline cartilage ossifies and it is known as syn ostosis osteo word is used for bone so we can say that with the increasing age this hyaline cartilage can ossify and uh, it can lead to syn ostosis next is the secondary cartilaginous joint is also known as permanent joint because the fibrocartilage is there between the two hyaline cartilage so it makes the joint as permanent joint but if we look in case of primary one it is the temporary joint because it is not having any of the fibrocartilage in between and it is only loaded with hyaline cartilage so we have also seen that they are also termed as primary and the secondary cartilage so this is uh, the basic difference between these two joints so let's discuss about the examples of the cartilaginous joint so there are various example for the primary and the secondary cartilaginous joint so the examples for the primary cartilaginous joint are as follows first is the epiphyseal plate which is located between the epiphysis and the diaphysis diaphysis as we all know that it is the shaft part of the bone so between the epiphysis and the diaphysis we have this epiphyseal plate which forms the primary cartilaginous joint as you can see in the in this picture next is the costochondral junction or costochondral joint so costochondral joint is actually located between the ribs and the cartilage means where the ribs and the cartilage meet there we have the primary cartilaginous joint 
that is called that is we call it as primary cartilaginous joint next is sphenoo occipital joint sphenoo occipital joint is also an example of the primary cartilaginous joint as you can see in the picture next is the secondary cartilaginous joint so there are various example for this too uh, first is the pubic symphysis pubic symphysis is actually located in the center of the body in the hip bone or the innominate bone we have seen already so this is the pubic symphysis next is the intervertebral disc intervertebral disc is also an example of secondary cartilaginous joint which is ivd next is manubrio sternal joint this is the joint which is located between the body of the sternum and the manubrium as you can see in the picture next is zephy sternal joint zephy sternal joint is basically located between the body of the sternum and the ziphoid process so this forms the zephy sternal joint as you can see in the picture so these are the various examples for the primary as well as secondary cartilaginous joint i hope you are cleared with all your concepts regarding cartilaginous joint and if you like the video then please give it a big thumbs up and share as much as much as you can agar aapne abhi tak mere channel ko subscribe nahi kiya hai to please abhi kar do aur notification bell bhi press kar do you can also follow me on various social media handles link down in the description box for more such quality content visit to my channel and enjoy watching the videos okay then guys milte hain agle video mein discussing the synovial joints till then keep watching and keep sharing my videos so until next time ashutosh here signing off